You just tuned in to the Heel in the Face live wrestling show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And you can also catch us on Twitter at Heel and Face. And also shut you can up. Pull- just shut up. Are you kidding? Nobody came to hear you and you curb your dog while you're at it. Oh, and man. I came make me a sandwich, Mrs. Abernathy. Are you okay, really? Do you need anything to drink? Tough Jim Steele, come here and get let out of and take us out to the show. I guess here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heel the Face radio show now. Welcome. Hello. Another week, man. Yeah, another week. Well, anyway, man, what's been going on in your world? eh? We haven't been uh, communicating. What's going on? Uh, Same old stuff, really. All right, yeah. Boring stuff, especially in the heels uh, situation. (laughs) But uh, let's just say uh, November 2nd is creeping up upon us. And uh, SWA on hollow grounds, man, that, that's going to be quite interesting. And uh, I can't wait. I, I was looking at the card the other day over and over and over. And then after that, you know what? I'm on the event page on Facebook. And what do I find? That weird silver mask arrive, teach, leave with another message. And it just, whatever, you know, really, whatever. I think you should be scared. You know, it drove me nuts that I seen another message from this clown and his anti-propagandist. But let me tell you something. I am not afraid. I am not backing down. All I do have to say is... That I will be there on my two feet, and I don't care what anybody has to say or do or whatever to try to make me leave. Because I'm not going to. It's a bunch of horse malarkey, all right? That's all I have to say with that. Rive, teach, leave crap, you know? I think you should. I, I, I think you're right. I, I think you. it's okay to be scared. No, no, not at all being scared, man. Because it doesn't matter. In wrestling, it's all about the danger and about just what's next. Take it as it comes. And I am. I don't care. I think you're crazy. Apparently, these people have plans for you if you don't resign. (laughs) Well, not that they want me to resign. Well, it's not that they want... Well, it's to resign, but in a way, they want me to do the right thing. You know, because I was... they pretty much said resign. Yeah, you know what, and I'm not, I'm not going to back down. And I was looking into all of the little interviews that they left, and uh, it doesn't bother me. I put them all together as a puzzle, and it made a broken one. I don't care. Wow. I, I really need, don't. I think you need to take this guy as a little more serious than you are right now. You know what? Bring it. Well, you know what? Listen, come November 2nd, SWA is taking over the NYWC Sportatorium. Doors open up at 6, bell time, 7.30, 8 o'clock. So you know what? Let's bring it. Let's have a great show. Bring your kids down in costume to come and see a great wrestling show. And there'll be prizes for the best costume. And don't forget, SWA just re- is releasing... A, uh, a poster that's going to be in the penny saver and it will be in your local area and there'll be a coupon inside of it. So if you live in Deer Park, Dix Hills, Brentwood, East Islip, you will have the opportunity to get this coupon. If you don't live in that area, try to see if someone is not going to the show to get this coupon. I can't tell you what's on the coupon, but it's going to be great. Don't forget, prizes for the best costume. Bring your kids down. You wear a costume, too. Well, Sean, you got yours on already. I'm already going to win, yeah. so don't you worry yep. about it. Yeah, you got your costume on every day of the year. Nope, uh, nope I'm already going to win. I'm going <laughs> to wear best costume. Oh, okay. Well, actually, you know what? We're not eligible for that. Says who? Because we're kind of, in quotes, part of staff. No, your staff. Your staff. I host the radio show. Yeah, but we're, we're not allowed. <laughs> We're, we're not eligible, but we can dress up, you know. We're not eligible, though. That's puppycock. Yeah, well, hey, that's, 
me stating that as a SWA official. You're an SWA employee. I host the radio show. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if you are a part of SWA, in-ring talent, locker room, or anything, a part of the staff, you I are not am eligible. I not SWA staff. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not eligible, and we've got enough clowns anyway. My costume is killer. <laughs> killer? I know. I could see it right now. It is. It's hurting me. I'm winning. Oh, boy. It's for the kids. Get it right. I'm going to win. What are you going to be? Somebody's butt cheek? Nope. I'm going to dress up as Vinny the Guido. No, that's not my <laughs> Vinny, you'll definitely lose, man. You'll lose so bad that you'll have to turn around and retire from everything in life. You might as well put loser on your head. You kidding me? <laughs> Vinny the Guido costume? No, no, no. I'm not going to Vinny the Guido. But my, <laughs> but, but my costume, you'll have to wait until November 2nd and see. Unless you catch me trick-or-treating with the kitties. Well, I thought you do that all the time around your house, you know, because you wear a costume all the time. I don't you wear know? a costume all the time. Well, a mask at least. You know, gosh, man, that thing is scary. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Even though I did tell people, I changed my idea, changed my thought. Come November 2nd, you'll see what I'll be also. And uh, you know what? It's going to be awesome. So check in and <laughs> check us out. November 2nd, SWA is going to rock uh, the NYWC Sportatorium, an epic show. So, uh, you know, definitely get your tickets and, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing you there because uh, you're going to see Sean Walsh in his in his costume. It's on him right now. In my super top secret costume. I know. It's on right now. I, I like it, man. You know, what, what do you call that? The I'm Walsh, not wearing it right now. The Walshinator? <laughs> That's funny. Great. Wait, let me slip onto my costume with Tommy C. Having a serious thought. Hold on. <laughs> I, did you see it? I wore it. It was great. Yeah. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> well, you know what? We, we, I don't know what's going on, but I got to, you know, we could run through some of the SWA matches, you know. Um, we got the Pride Championship match with uh, the great Bambino, CJ Antonino. Versus uh, Ricky Richards, Esquire the Third. That match right there is, I would say, uh, it's going to be a great match. You know, winner of that match in my eyes. I think CJ's had the belt too long. I think Richards is about to. What's your opinion? You really are batshit crazy. Why would you say that? What? Why would you say I'm batshit crazy? Come on. Bambino survived not only Ricky Rich's Esquire the Third, but due to an illegitimate foreign object, Chris Caden. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Oh, wait, wait. And also against Balls Mahoney. Come on, man. Right. It's all right. He's been through his battle, he did the war. You know, it's it's about time he's it's what do you gonna think? be given. He's gonna take it easy on Ricky Richards. Um, you know what? I don't think he is, but it's gonna have to happen sooner or later. And this is probably about the time. You know, he's had the belt for far too long. You are crazy. All right. Well, we'll see. Come hollow grounds, and uh, let's see. Next match: elimination match. Uh, TNA ring of honor. A jigsaw. Versus the protector of professional wrestling, Jack Gallo. I believe you read your notes wrong. I think it's an exhibition match. Well, on here they have exhibition. He wrote it wrong. You said elimination. No, I didn't. I said yes, exhibition. You did. I did? Well, you it's did. exhibition, ladies and gentlemen. That's my fault. But uh, you know what? Hey, we all make mistakes. Be a man about it. But uh, Jigsaw versus Jack Gallo. You're not being a man about, su about letting wrestlers suffer injustice while other wrestlers pay their way into the top spot on the card. Justice was served, Caden. Sorry. But Jigsaw Jack Gallo, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a, I like Jigsaw, but I think Gallo's going to take this match. 
you know, I, I don't care, you know. Definitely Jack Gallo on it. What do you think about uh, Mask Man? Why are you saying Jack Gallo? Why we? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh well, Jigsaw. He's so great. He's He's part of all didn't these you, companies. Didn't you and say Jigsaw last week? You know what? I did say, No, I didn't say Jigsaw. I said Jack Gallo. I, I believe I said Jack Gallo. And if I am wrong, I do apologize. I, I would you go... flip more times than Paul and Dean having a conversation while flipping an oven full of pancakes. Wow, man. <laughs> You've got food on the brain. But I say Jack Gallo. I know you probably say Jigsaw. Uh, no, I yes, you do. Don't lie. Week. Don't lie. You like Jigsaw. Did you listen to the playback? No, I didn't listen to it because I didn't get a chance to. But you know what? I have to listen to it. You and were too busy doing what? I don't know, man. It was just. Oh, what was I too busy doing? Right. I don't squash on other companies, but I was busy taking care of business. Okay. Let's move on. (laughs) Top five ranked exhibition. Uh, Justin Toxic, Steve the Turtle Weiner. Not Weiner, ladies and gentlemen. Say his name right. Weiner? No. Weiner? Weiner. Right. No. (laughs) Weiner. It's Steve the Turtle Weiner. Can't wait till he gets a shell on you. <laughs> I say Justin Toxic in this one, no matter what. The Turtle Boy, honestly, blah, blah, blah. You know, Turtle Power, you know, it's kind of weird. That's like having, uh, wait a minute, what's his name? The Banana Man on your show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what's your pick on that one, man? I'm going. I'm going. Weiner, for real. For real. You're gonna go with some dude that calls himself the Turtle and wears Ninja Turtle T-shirts, pajamas, and all that stuff. Because if you check him out, talk to him, the kid is a little odd. But okay, you you Ninja Turtle freak. <laughs> I'm 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 going with Wiener. I mean Weiner. Wiener. <laughs> Be nice to the kid. He he's he's good. Kinda. Next. Six man tag team action. Your hero, Mike Magnum. Your th- hero Oh, I'm sorry. Mike Magnum. Oh, your hero, Mike Magnum. And Casey Koresh and Papa Ganoush. Versus Long Island's finest cash and totally ridiculous, radical Steve mm-hmm. Persons and <laughs> and SWA's Ragdoll. Uh, wow. I, I Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Mike Magnum. Your... Hero. Oh no, he's not my hero. Mike, he's, he's no. Your no, he's hero, not. Mike Magnum. He's not my hero. He's your no, hero. He's your hero. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's yes, your he hero. No, he's your hero. No, no, come on, man. He's not my hero. He's your hero. No, he's your hero. All right, enough. I don't care. Whatever, man. He's your hero. Your Mike Magnum. Hero. Mike Magnum. Mike Magnum, Casey Koresh, and Papa Ganoush. That's the team I pick on that, definitely. The rest of them, Cash, Steve Persons, Ragdoll, I don't see it. I think Cash has a, sort of, has a, has a sore spot and a score to settle for war games. Yeah, he does. He, he wants a win. You know, he wants a win under his belt there. And you know I what? think he wants to prove that he's, you know... He, he's got the Not knowledge. Yeah, because he's, Mike, Mike Magnum did a complete psych out. Yeah, he, Mike Magnum, yeah, he really your and he did it. Oh, hero, yeah, why didn't you say that? Mike Magnum. No, he's your hero. And maybe, I don't know, Not God darn. But, yeah, he did get him over, and let me tell you something. It just, 
It was one hell of a match. And honestly, I think... Brain uh, department. Yeah. I Cash think zero. Your hero, Mike Magnum. Ding, one. I think uh, Cash is going to come back with a vengeance. And he's going after uh, your hero, Mike Magnum. Your hero, Mike Magnum. Yeah, so I see that. You know what? I see that as a one-on-one match more than anything because... Uh, I don't see anything else going on. When they there. get in the ring with each other, yeah. if that happens, I, it's going to be one on one. I don't see anybody else getting tagged in. Yeah, it's it's going to be them two going down at it. You know, definitely, because Cash is he wants a win. He's going to win it. If, you know, even if one of his guys win it, it's that's it. It's I he's wonder got it. what your hero, Not Mike mine. Magnum, has planned. Um, I guess we'll wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to. Exhibition match, Heavenly Hatch Stevens with Brandon Brandon Gold versus The Caveman. Really? Who who in the world put this match together? I don't know. Jerry didn't even go over it with me. That is you know what? I see the caveman kicking the crap out of uh, Heavenly Hatch Stevens. Oh I heck think. no. He's a caveman, dude. Oh, heck no. Are you joking? Oh, no. He's a caveman. He's going to wreck him. Heavenly Hatch Stevens. He's probably sitting on the couch right now listening to us, eating a box of friggin' donuts or ringdings or something or Twinkies and and a big gallon of milk. Are you joking? He's in training. Yeah, in training for the... Perfection takes work. If that's perfection, man, then I would hate to see what, like, like anything else is in life that you look at. <laughs> it's perfection. <laughs> it's, that's crazy. He's in training. Yeah. What is he, training his mouth? The, he's got to get those calories in him to, to, to train and be, fun, and be <clears throat> heavenly. Heavenly? Yeah, he's heavenly big. Come on, dude. No way. I, I think the caveman's going to wreck him. He's, he's just another one on your list of people you like to screw with, but go on. No, he's not. It's just, you know, he, he started his uh, little thing with me in the beginning when I entered uh, SWA. And let me tell you, it, 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 whatever, man. Because he spends his money on training and not trying to buy spots on the show. Well, I never buy a spot on any show. None of that stuff. Never did, never will. My name, it, it doesn't... I never took a bribe. It doesn't go. I'm not green, sorry, yeah. or a mark out, or a money mark. You, I'll even you never put that out. a bribe. Never. You've never taken a bribe from a wrestler to be put in the main event. Never have, never will. See this shirt? It turns blue in the event that you're lying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what color it is all the time? It's royal blue. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. You're full of it. <laughs> but uh, two on one handicap match, MC three. Riley Daniels, that guy, versus that guy. the Rocky Mountain Madman, Boondocks, Boondocks, with the man in the top hat. But wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Sean. What? It says, the, with the man in the top hat. Who the hell is the man in the top hat? Where? You know, wh- I, really? I know you don't do your homework, but did no. you see a video? When, yeah, it was were you, were you watching? Were you watching Wrestle Hell? A war yeah. games. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it was. Who is the man in the top hat then? He was a special guest referee, you didn't see? No, I didn't see him. He was in the ring? He was in the ring. He was the referee. How the hell did he get in the building? He was not supposed to be in the building at any of the events. No. He must have had money in his pockets that day. Were you guarding the door? No, he probably turned around and paid off. Uh, Jerry Werner or one of the other staff members because it wasn't me. SWA officials? Yeah, it uh, wasn't in me. In case you haven't noticed, you're an SWA official. Well, uh, I wasn't paid off, so sorry. I never get paid off. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you do wish to purchase a ticket on Hollow Grounds, SWA presents. Tickets will be available online via PayPal or at the event, the day of the show. Front row tickets are $25. General admission tickets are $20. You can also get your tickets at Suffolk Wrestling Alliance Tickets.weebly.com. 
So if you want, get your tickets. Check out such a great show. Jigsaw, Jack Gallo, uh, Ricky Richards, you name it. It's going to be a great show. And uh, you'll get to see Sean Walsh. Well, if you... Yeah, his mask that he wears every day. I don't know why, but... Yep. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll find you somewhere in the building collecting money. Yeah, ha ha, very funny. And, um... Uh, gonna have a camera on Ricky Richards the entire time to see if you'll get past an envelope. <laughs> well, all of our cameras are gonna be on the ring, and we're gonna be taping it live, so... You know what? Try to get into the front row. $25 a ticket. There are seats available. And uh, you can walk by and see Sean Walsh sitting there with his mask on. Of course, that he has every day, but that's all right. I'm going to keep on pushing that. You want to push something? Hashtag Sean Walsh mask. <laughs> Let's push a different hashtag. Let's put hashtag ribomatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hashtag reverse ATM. ATM. Reverse I wish. ATM. I, oh, okay. I wish I was. Let me tell you. But uh, SWA is gonna be rocking it, November second. I, I don't know. Whoops! I don't show up to an event. Whoops! I'm suspended. Whoops! All of a sudden, I'm in the main event for the bride <laughs> title. Happy accident? Hmm. I don't think so. Listen, man, that's all good. Whoops, I don't show up to a show. Whoops, I cry about Tommy C. Whoops, I'm suspended. Whoops, I'm still suspended. <laughs> Come on now. Chris Caden didn't shell out any money. All I got to say about that. Anyway. You can draw your own conclusions. Listen. It doesn't matter. Chris Caden did what he did. He paid the penalty. He paid the fine. He yeah, did Ricky it. Ricky Rich has paid his penalty too, I bet. In large unmarked bills. Ricky Richards is a, 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 a gentleman, <coughs> you know, that worked hard for what he's got today. And let me tell you, Chris Caden, he works hard for what he's gotten. But you know what? When you make a mistake and you do the wrong, you do pay the penalty. Let me tell you a riddle. You could stick your Let riddle you up riddle. your nose. Two men don't attend the same show. One is still suspended. The other has a main event, has the main event match for the pride title. Hmm, why? Because he earned it. That's why. He earned it by personally protesting and being suspended? No. No, not at all. I'll tell you what. Let's take the two of these men. Ricky Richards and Chris Caden. And if you can give me five good reasons why Ricky Richards was suspended and is now in the main event match, I will drop the whole you paid. I, I dropped the whole somebody got paid thing. You know what? You I said five good reasons. Why he's, Don't come uh, up with he walks your dog. Why he's a number one contender? Is that what you're saying? Why he's in the main event match. And he's a number one contender now. Exactly. Why he's a number one contender. Right. All right. So you want those answers want now five or next reasons. week? I'll give you... You know what? At the beginning of next week's show, I will give you five reasons. And I will give you five reasons why I think Chris Caden should have been there. But... His fault of what he did. We're not talking about that. No, but I'm, I added that in myself. We're, we're, I will I don't do need it. to know that. I, I've been, yeah, because you know what he did. He did the wrong thing. He should have done the right. Suspended. But you know what? He did deserve it. I say he does deserve Ricky it, but you know Why what? Why isn't Ricky Richards still suspended then? Because Richards didn't because do money anything. Because talks and bullshit runs the marathon. That's hey, what it is. Hey, listen, Graveyard Disciples got the same deal too, man. Funny, it doesn't matter. They're wrestling, they're wrestling too. Let, let's yes, they are. That. Yes, they are. And GYD is going to bring it in the house, and let me tell you, they're going to kick some ass mm. November 2nd. Yep. 
the squeaky wheel gets the most oil, and the one with the most money gets pushed ahead. I get it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Like, really now. So next week, I will have five top answers you know, for you. Give me five good reasons All right. why, why Ricky Richards is in the main event at On Holland Ground. All right. So next five. week. Five. Next Wednesday, I will have good five reasons. good reasons. Good so. reasons. Not because SWA officials woke up one morning over some bad coffee and decided that they needed Ricky Richards in the main event. That doesn't count as a good reason. Well, that could have been one. <laughs> well, I'm glad I threw it out there now. <laughs> well, we'll have it next week. We'll uh, turn around. I will have five good reasons. Good why. reasons. All right. No problem. Yeah, I, you can't even come up with one. No, because I'm not going to do it now. You know. I didn't say do it now. Yeah. I just know that there's not going to be one good reason. All right. We'll see next weekend. I'll do that. Other than he paid me a lot of money. How would you figure that? How would you figure that he paid me? The man's got more money than anybody in the company, and he should, you know, he doesn't need to pay anybody off. He's talented. He, he worked for what he got. Yeah, he is. He I didn't say he wasn't talented. I said he was suspended, yeah, but. and all of a sudden, these two men that we're talking about, one is suspended still, and the other one is in the main event Pride title match. Yeah, so he deserves it. Not like Chris Caden, where he, hey, he paid his dues. He had to be suspended without pay, and that's it. It's done. Don't like it? Too bad. I'm not going to get five good reasons. You will. Next weekend, I'll have five good reasons for you, and that'll I be it. I can't wait. All right. You all heard it right here on the Heel in the Face live wrestling for show. five good reasons, I will stop insisting that Ricky Richards paid you off or no. some other SWA official. Nope. No other official. No Ricky Richards has. So have your and little meeting it. of the minds. Knock your heads together. Yeah. And come we'll. Up with five good reasons. And me and Jerry Warner will turn around and we'll present five good reasons why Ricky Richards is the SWA number one contender for the Pride Champion versus the Pride Champion, CJ Antonino. Okay? We will have that for you next week. Let's move on. Yeah, okay. But uh, why don't we cut to a break, and then uh, we'll come back with some more wrestling news, man. That's a great idea. because Definitely. That's a great idea, because a couple of weeks ago, new <laughs> tag team champions on the independent scene were crowned. Do you want to know where and when and who? Come back. Uh oh. All types of things have been broken. See, all those bondages, all those spiritual, spiritual holds. Go! Hallelujah! Oh, she doesn't even want to have it!
And we're and back. We are back. And, uh, oh, man. Interesting talking about SWA stuff. And uh, let's see who else is out there on Long Island that's going to be hitting. Uh, ECPW Wrestling is going to be December 7th at the Shirley Bingo Hall. If you don't have tickets for that, you can get them at ECPW1.com. And uh, you can also contact any of the local talent and get your tickets from them. Uh, ticket outlets are available online at ECPW1, and you will you could see them if you want to get the tickets in advance. $15, $20 at the door. And uh, let me, that's going to be an awesome show. It's ECPW Seasons Beatings, it's called. And... Uh, You've got Boondocks there, SJR, Zach Vengeance, Mason Shadows, Lucas Sane, um, who else? Rocky Shore. Uh, there is so many, I, I don't even know. Mark Static, and don't forget Mark Static, the Long Island ECP division champion, is going to be facing off against none other than Boondocks, and uh, that's going to be a street fight. What do you think about that, Sean? I can't wait to see what happens with that one. That that's gonna be an interesting one, man. Uh, you know them two going at it, street fight style. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, just you know, clear way. That's all I could say. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of other matches going on there. Oh man. Also, we've got uh, the undead will be there along with. Oh, man, I didn't put it all down. <laughs> but uh, also you have Joe Sloan, uh, Johnny over there, Bobby Rydell, a ton of other people, Alex Vendetta, Lexa Rose. It's un unbelievable. What are you doing down there? you hiding? No, I just don't want any of those anti-propagandist guys to get me on camera again. Oh, yeah, you want it by the... spying on you. What do you want it by the FBI? Their intel. <laughs> but uh yeah so if you can you know come and check ecpw wrestling out december 7th 6 p.m doors open 7 30 is bell time as i said tickets are available ecpw1.com or you could even get them at the shirley bingo hall 15 dollars advance 20 dollars at the door but uh there's other stuff going on across the island let's just say <clears throat> Stronghold Pro Wrestling is going to be hitting Long Island, New York. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got to gear up for one epic show. Don't forget, you'll be having Dr. Lamar Braxton Porter with Vinny the Guido facing off against Suntan and also Evan Reigns versus Chris Envy versus ATL versus Alex Vendetta. And then it will be... Tattooed Ugly, Len Oddity, going off against uh, th this, I, I don't even believe, but ladies and gentlemen, just added to the card today, none other than the Puerto Rican bulldozer, Frankie Flo. How do you feel about that, Sean? Wow. Come on. You're talking about the Puerto Rican bulldozer, Frankie Flo, and you say, wow? Are you kidding? That man is a, is a monster, you know. He's a small dude, but he can pack a punch. He's like a, as I said, he's a bulldozer. He doesn't care. He'll go right through anybody. And you give him a wow? Come on. I guess you never analyzed Frankie Flo in his matches. He is phenomenal. They're not any wins. Oh, come on now. For real. And then you've got um, Nikki Adams. <laughs> this also... Just came in today, just added to the Stronghold Pro Wrestling roster, none other than Nikki Adams going against Boy Diva Ricky Cataldo. How do you feel about that? Ricky Cataldo, man. I know he's a strange dude, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? Hey, he's a genius in the ring. And that's all you did is just cough for him? What, are you at the doctor's office? Come on. 
<laughs> and then you've got Big Jim Sullivan facing off against Frankie Stars with none other than Trixie in his corner. That is a match that you don't want to miss. What? Come on. What do you got to say, Buttercup? Come on. What do you got to say? That's going to be a hell of a match. That, that is. You know, I can't even wait for something like that. That's just, <laughs> that's one match. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't get your tickets for it, you are missing out because don't forget, tickets will be available November 1st and also we'll have them on sale at ticket outlets across Long Island and one of them will be at Omega Storage in Amityville, Long Island, New York. Uh, you know, other ticket outlets will be available and announced and don't forget to look at the event page for all that information. Other matches, Long Island's Finest Cash with Lexa Rose versus Beautiful Bobby Dream. What do you see out of that? I see a, a, a cash of a defeat, huh? <laughs> beautiful Bobby's too, beautiful Bobby Dream is too beautiful to lose. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. It figures you would go and follow the heel of, oh, yeah, all right. But, yeah. I think it's going to be definitely, you know, cash is night. You know, maybe he'll bounce back from SWA and, and he'll get his win if he doesn't get it at hollow grounds. And then uh, we have a three-way tag team match, elimination style. It's GYD Graveyard Disciples versus The Undead. Is going to be accompanied to the ring by Lucas Sane. And the third tag team, Los Sucios with none other than Lexa Rose in their corner. And I think that's going to be one hell of a match. You know, you, you're not going to be able to see anything better. And I got something even more epic. And yes. You, and you're looking at me like, yes, what's that? Over the top rope battle royale, 350-pound Coronas versus... 15 men. Him versus 15 men. It's still a regular battle royale. These guys could fight amongst themselves. But Coronas, if he is still in that ring, he wins. But if you are a tag team and you think you guys could get him out, that's fine. I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll see come January 18th at the NYWC Sportatorium in Deer Park, Long Island, New York, where Stronghold Pro Wrestling is going to take wrestling and flip it upside down and put it right in your, your lap that night. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having sponsors. We'll be having prizes, raffles, giveaways, you name it. And uh, we're going to even have just a poke coming down to do an autograph sign. So, you know what? Come on and check it out. The Pope will be signing autographs before a show and during intermission. Anything else there, Sean, instead of looking down at the ground? What is there, a hole there? What are you doing? I was busy doing my <coughs> journalistic duties. You, oh, you, were, you know how to do that? Oh, yeah, you went to college for that. You got an education, huh? Oh, you're ringing, man. It's for you. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to get your tickets for all of Long Island's great independent wrestling. You've got SWA November 2nd at the NYWC Sportatorium. Tickets are on sale now, and you could even get tickets from your local indie wrestlers. And then ECPW comes to Long Island again to the Shirley Bingo Hall December 7th. Tickets are on sale, ecpw1.com, and Stronghold Pro Wrestling hits Long Island coming January 18th. Tickets will be available January, November 1st, and don't forget to get your tickets from any of your indie wrestlers, and all ticket outlets will be announced for that show within the weeks to come. What are you laughing about? 
What do you got laughing? What, what, what's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Everything is good. <laughs> all right. I'm basically done, man. You know, I've read all the news that we have here. You know, you want to go over some of the stronghold no, you matches? Didn't, you, didn't, you didn't read all the news. Oh, what news do we got? What else? Recently, the crew were crowned the first ever FTW Tag Team Champions. Oh, yes. Congratulations to them. All I got to say is, ladies and gentlemen, it's a part of FTW history. The first Tag Team Champions. I don't know how you, if they've got a title in, you know, now, but what it's called uh, as a tag team, but you've got the rock star and Damian Darling and Nicoletta. The crew. Did the crew? Hear me? The crew. What the hell the is crew. that? I, you know, Motley Crew? Give me a break. No, they're better than Motley Crew. No. Rock is a much better singer than Vince Neil. I don't know. I never really heard the rock star in, in concert or live, I should say. But they are the first ever FTW Tag Team Champions. The rock star Damian Darlin escorted down to the ring by none other than the gorgeous street walk, ring walker. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nicoletta. I, I had to. Some it was there. Somebody's getting their ass kicked. Nicoletta's going to come to a show and like smack me upside the head. <laughs> But it's Somebody's all love. Somebody's getting their ass but, but, kicked. But it's all love. You know, it's, it's okay. I didn't mean it, you know, but. <laughs> Somebody's getting their ass kicked. But, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> but uh, congratulations to them, too. And, uh, you know, many more wins as tag team champions there. And, uh FTW should be coming up with a show pretty soon too, I hear. But uh dates aren't announced yet. Stuff like that. But uh what are you doing there, man? Really? You're handling things fine. I'm more I'm handling things fine here things at the fine. heel in the face. Yep. Definitely. All they hear is me talking and they love that. That's why they tune no. in every week. No, they don't. Yes, they do. What? They don't tune in to hear your Friggin', yeah, okay. That somebody just bought an autograph from me. That's great. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Wow, man. Wait, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the chipmunk did. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he gave me some nuts. Yeah. Don't don't feel so bad. He needs the extra paper to make a nest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I believe man. he's got plans for your picture to go in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. No problem. But uh, you suck. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, in what do we got? Like two weeks left till Halloween? That's going to be awesome. I love Halloween. You like Halloween, man? Halloween's good. Halloween, good. Halloween's awesome, man. It's a day that is Halloween's just... awesome, but do you know what happens the day before Halloween? You turn into the Great Pumpkin. No, you already are. No, I don't know. SWA takes over the show for On Hollow Ground. They do? No kendo sticks. Hopefully the Graveyard Disciples won't bring any. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, they can't bring no toys. I, I, I got a headache still from that. I'll you make know? sure to tell them not to bring anything. Well, they can bring the drill for you, you know. Why would they use a drill on me? Well, it'll have a certain drill bit at the end of it for you. We won't announce that because this is a family-friendly show with a little bit of uh, rudeness. <laughs> okay. You're going to get yours when somebody gets a hold of you. Ooh, uh-oh. I know. He's coming with the chicken pretty soon. <laughs> Not only that. Oh, and Nicolette is going to put her high heel probably in my backside. But that's okay. It's all love. I didn't even mean it, but she'll still come to me and kick me in the ass. It's all good. But, uh, hey, welcome to indie wrestling. <laughs> Looking forward to that event. <laughs> That'll be a YouTube moment. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. For Stronghold Pro Wrestling, you know what I forgot to announce? 
we have a ring announcer that is amazing. Ryan Peterson is going to be the ring announcer. And not only that, a good friend of his and of the show's is going to be working intermission. And uh, he's kind enough to come down and play some great music, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Acosta and Axes Unknown will be performing at Stronghold Pro Wrestling January 18th during intermission. Um, and if you wish to, like, get pictures taken with him, autographs with him, you can do so. Dan, he won't mind, trust me. But uh, it's going to be one hell of a show. So, uh, you know, make sure you get your tickets for it, as I said, November 1st. And also the Pope, D'Angelo De Niro, former TNA star, will be signing autographs also at intermission. What's the matter, man? You got a headache there? No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. And before the show starts... I'm just looking behind you for cameramen. <laughs> Before Stronghold Pro Wrestling starts from 6 to 7 o'clock, you'll have all your Stronghold Pro Wrestling roster stars out there signing autographs, introducing themselves, letting you get to know them, and uh, then we're going to sit down 7.30 and have one hell of a show. What are you doing, man? You looking at the birdies on the wall? You're doing a fine job. Really? I'm looking for cameramen. And ladies Guys and gentlemen, on Stronghold Pro Wrestling, don't forget also, front row tickets are $25. General admission is $20. And we have a VIP meet and greet. Front row tickets with the Pope and everything is $40. Only available in advance. Really? Only in advance? Yes. I can't get them at the door? If they're available, but right now it's only in well, advance. You said they were only in advance. Yeah, but if they... Well, nobody's going to go to the door now and get them. Hey, listen. If they are available, we will make them available where they will announce them prior to the event. What you, what's over there? I was all twisted. I know. It looked like a freaking onion. Wow. You know so what? So what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm not telling you. Why not? I'm not. I'll tell you if you tell me. All right, go ahead. What are you going to be? No, 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 no. You got to tell me first. What are you going to be? No, you tell me. Come on. No, no, no. I tell you. you (coughs) I'm actually making mine up, so it doesn't matter. It's going to be a mask, cape, and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty cool. Go ahead. What so what it? are you going to be? I ain't telling you. Really? Come on. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I'm wearing if you tell me what you're wearing. I'll dress up like you. You dress up like me. How about that? I can't. Why? I can't get that ugly in one sitting. I know, right? <laughs> All right, well, oh. we'll, we'll take a quick break and be right back. All right.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got an, <clears throat> someone that called in and told us, listen, you better drop the music. I need to talk. I want to get something out there. And he turned around and was forcing it. So, ladies and gentlemen, none other than Long Island's own, Long Island's finest, Cash. What's, What's going on? Up, man? What's going on, brother? Nothing. Just got done with doing some work. Well, I just want to announce a couple of things that are coming around. Um, Tom Pro. I know I got in your face at the last show, but I'm sorry about that. I, I don't know what happened. I definitely lost my mind. I'm completely sorry about that. Please. I hope you take my apology. Yeah, man, you kind of exploded, you know. I didn't know if you had a, a ton of Red Bull or something, but you know what? I just pushed it to the side, and I said, you know, Cash, you know, might have had a bad day, so he brought it into the ring to my face, but I left it where it is in the ring. You know, that's it. But it's all good, brother. All right. Thank you for accepting my part. Another thing, Dickie Rod and Nikki Adams, they wanted to make this personal. So December 7th, we'll make it a mixed tag team match. Alexa Rose and Cash versus Dicky Rods and Nikki Adams. First time ever in ECPW Long Island Division. That's one. November 2nd, Long Island's finest will be at his home, SWA. This uh, uh, November second again in the six way t uh, six man tag team match. Also, a big exclusive Stronghold Pro Wrestling January eighteenth. Make sure you get your tickets. Make sure you read about it. It's going to be live and popping. Allies fun. Hello. Yeah, go ahead, brother. You got the you got the floor, man. Uh, I thought my phone hung up. Allies fun. This will be there with a bunch of other people. Dicky Rods. Uh, the Pope from TNA. Uh, uh, I forgot who else was on the posters that I seen. Oh, but man, we, we, got, all, we got Big Jim there's Sullivan. There's a bunch of names, man. great names that are coming out to support the company, to show their love. You guys, you fans, come out, show the love as well. Show love to all the local wrestling that's coming around. Just show love, show love, please, guys. Show that indie wrestling is really good for... For the streets out here, for these kids to get out of drama and, and all that crap. Go into a school, but get the wrestling business back to where it was. But also, there's one other thing you did not mention, and I know it's kind of, kind of, it's in your ballpark, bro. The tag team, none other than your brothers, the Los Sucios, are coming to town. It, that's going to yes. be awesome. Yes, my, my family, we, we, we rode deep. The Los Sucio show love to them. I show Mel, Mel Sanchez, Romeo, love them. They're my family all day. They they do a lot of stuff out in the city. Go check them out. They're all over. Definitely. They're at the doghouse. Bronx. They're everywhere. Get love. Show love to all of them. So uh, There's a bunch of things that I want to say, but I don't really have the time at this moment. But the one thing that I will get to say... Make sure you buy your tickets for the ECPW show on Long Island because me and Dickie, we're going to tear that house down once again like we did the last show. <laughs> well, that feud between you two is uh, really building up. I think, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you don't get your tickets. It's you're, you're missing one hell of a match because these boys are feuding left and right in the locker room, out of the locker room, in the ring. It doesn't matter. Parking lots everywhere. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> that, that's one. And I, I want to put another thing out there. And this is, they call me Mr. Pipe Bomb himself for a reason. Bobby Dream, you've been running your mouth for a lot lately. Okay, January 18th, I'm going to shut that mouth up. And I'm going to make sure that you won't be able to wrestle again. Because my goal is to take you out of wrestling completely. <laughs> well, that, that seems like that's going to be awesome, man. We can't even wait for that match coming January 18th through Stronghold Pro Wrestling. And, uh, yo, man, uh, as far as I see, you and Bobby Dream in the past have had problems, issues. 
through different companies, and it's it's finally coming to hopefully an end come January 18th. Everywhere we we're in, every locker room that we're in together, he's always running his mouth in that locker room, and they separate us all the time. Now, finally, January 18th, I'm going to put an end to it. I'm going to black out his ass and send him off. He ain't going to come back. The ECPW, SWA, all to stronghold pro wrestling. Well, man, listen, uh, we know you're, you're a busy man, you know, taking care of business. We'll uh, let you uh, do what you got to do. And uh, if possible, would, uh, would you like to come on next week so we can have a full interview with uh, Long Island's Finest? Yes, I would love to if I'm able to get out of work. Um, it's a crazy shift. But if I'm able to get out of work, I would definitely love to. Um, if anything, we could pre-record it and put it up. All right, definitely, man, because the fans would want to hear what Cash is doing, what's going on. You know, give us an interview because uh, you're popping across Long Island, New York. You know, it's just amazing what you and the Sucios are doing. So, uh, you know, we'll check you out next weekend. We appreciate your little bit of time that you've given us, and uh, we'll talk to you. Thank you. Support the local wrestling. Don't forget, guys. Tom Cole, thank you so much. Sean, thank you. All right, Guys, man. I hope you have a great night. Love you guys with all my heart. Peace out. All right. Talk thanks. to you, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See, that was something that was amazing just now. We had none other than Long Island's finest cash. Give us a quick call in. You know, blowing up the indie circuit, just as he said. Support local indie wrestling because that's where wrestling starts. You know, it doesn't start on TV, just so you know. It starts here at home. What do you got to say there, Sean? Uh, uh, what else can you say? <laughs> well, you know what? I think we're good for the night. You know, it's up to you. It's your call, too. I think we're good for the week. I think we are, too. Definitely, man. Because we've got all our indie wrestling put out there. You know what? And uh, just that call from Cash telling us to shut down that song. And, you know, he wanted to come on. He was demanding it. And he did. You know, hey, when talent calls, all right, let, let's hear what you got to say. <laughs> That's good. So, yep. for Tom Coe and me and the wall monitor, we'll be, all right. we'll be back on duty next week. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll see you next weekend and talk to you. Worship the ring.